Anyways, uh, I found a loophole in our system for judging polar bear challenges. Like we're, we're, we're currently allowing uh, if you guys get a hold of us, either the judge, which is me this year, or Chuck, or whoever the designated people are in the years that follow. Um, there's a hole in the system that uh, you can, the rule is one video per day, and you have to post, uh, you have to post it up on YouTube. So what I've been kind of thinking about is if you post it up on YouTube and post it on listed, Take a shower. Wait. Okay. Till the last 20 or 30 days. And then post all your videos up. Or, worst case, you could go all, this year is 77 days, so you could go all 77 days and you could post them up because, on the last day, because uh, the rules state that we go by the date stamp on YouTube. Yeah. And I don't want to play that game. No, that's kind of unfair to the judge. I, I think 99% of the people on the site, if not all of them, should agree that that would be probably mega spamming. So I think we need to include some kind of a spam definition as to what you can actually post on the Polar Bear site. In other words, if you want to save back 12 videos with 12 separate days, you can't just all of a sudden bomb the PBC site with 12 videos in a day or on the last day or whatever. So we need to come up with a rule for that, and I was discussing it with uh, Charlie in the box, that's you, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I came up with this because um, I used to do law enforcement, I still kind of sort of do that, so I'm always looking for loopholes in the system, and I figured one out this morning, or actually it's been going on. I figured that out, so um, we're proposing, and we'd like to hear your uh, members' comments as to how do we deal with it. Um, Chuck and I were discussing earlier about uh, doing the spammer. We want to word it. We want to word it so you know it, you've got you've got a lot of variables here. If YouTube goes down or you have trouble uploading to YouTube, if uh, the name site goes down, which we've experienced before. Both of us, like, I upload it today. So if I start running into problems, I get a hold of Chuck. And uh, somebody else started encountering problems, and he got a hold of Chuck, he got a hold of me, so we were already aware of it. And Chuck and I talk every day. And I, the thing I just, I just want to eliminate is somebody coming in and just, Plan. Set up your 500 mile videos for all consecutive days. That's just gonna blow everybody out, and that's just that's just me. Plus, it's spamming the site too. It's knocking everybody else's videos down, and that's not the point. We want to give everybody a chance to get their videos viewed. So, what uh, Tom and I have come up with is, barring any kind of problems with either YouTube or Ning, let's assume YouTube and Ning are both functioning normally we're going to have a maximum of two videos posted per day on the PBC site. So that means, yeah, maybe you made a video on, let's, let's say, December 14th and 15th, and then you decide to post them both on the same day. We're cool about that on the PBC site. But if you're going to post a third one and you don't let us know there's some kind of trouble or some reason why you need to post a third one, like a malfunction with the Ning or the YouTube, it's just going to be considered spamming the site. So anybody posting three or more after the third one and beyond that, they're just going to get taken down because if you're going to blast the site, and especially at the end, I don't want to see Tom get hit with like 50 videos at the end from somebody that tried to be sneaky and made them unlisted 
and then they slammed the site in the last few days. It, you know, we got one main judge here, and we got to be fair to him and give him the opportunity to do his job. I, I'm more along the lines of I want to, I want to keep fair to everybody, and if you want to sandbag a bid, I, I honestly, I don't have a problem with. It. I love the way it came down last year because it came down to uh, uh, it came down to two people, and I think the last two bids were posted at like the last few minutes that they could on YouTube, and then they immediately sent them over to uh, the main site. Yeah, in other and words, we're not the people that keep the videos in the bank. We're not at all saying that this is anything to do with that. If you have a video, like say you were going to work and you made another video coming home from work and it was several weeks ago, sure, go ahead and post it in line. If you haven't had a ride or something like that, post it as one of your two maximum per day. We don't want to uh, interfere. That's Some people call that bending the rules. I think it's well within the rules because we don't restrict it. And a lot of people like to make two videos in a day, so we're not addressing that in this. Basically, what we're addressing is just somebody that's going to come in and bomb the site at the last minute. So, um, and spam the site and drive other people's videos down. I know on other Ning sites and other sites I belong to, that's kind of frowned upon too. If somebody all of a sudden, you join the site and then you just plaster up a bunch of videos on the front page and knock other people's videos down. So just to be fair to everybody, I think a spam rule is something, something reasonable. I agree. We just wanted to keep this short. We wanted to throw that out. We want your opinion, so please comment down here. Yep. And we're going to read them before we make a decision. And that's what this is about. Yeah, so. just a proposal for a spam rule so that everybody gets to be treated fairly and somebody doesn't come, you know, and blank the page out, so all of a sudden you post a video, and then 15 minutes later your video's down at the bottom of the page, so. Oh, the other thing is, is it's still one post per day, with exceptions of if the main site is having issues, or why to, why YouTube, YouTube is yeah. having issues. Yeah. You need to contact the band, me, or whoever the judge is, because I'm going to stay involved in it. Yeah. You get a hold of me, I'm going to get a hold of somebody else, and we're going to figure out, okay, no problem. Yeah, we've always yeah. cut a mile of slack for, for malfunction. That's always been with every judge that's ever been here. We realize that every time it seems we do the Polar Bear Challenge, we're going to have several days to where YouTube screws up on us or Ning screws up onto us. And for that, all bets are off as far as staying exactly to the rules. We're going to let the judge use full discretion to give everybody the opportunity to be treated fairly. So that's always going to be a thing. And we've had it every year for the past three years where it's been within the first couple days starting yep. automatically. So. It just seems to happen. All right. We didn't want to go a long time here. so Take care, everybody. Thumbs up. Bye.